Hello everyone, this video is going to be about the three transformers you can use to join your data based on common attributes in FME Workbench. Now since there are multiple ways of joining your data with FME Workbench, I'll be covering which transformer you should use for the right use case when your data has already been loaded into FME. Two of the three transformers used to join your data require no previous SQL knowledge. So let's get started. So the first transformer is using the feature merger transformer. So this transformer requires no SQL knowledge and allows you to join your data based on common attributes. The feature merger receives two streams of features via the input ports. The requester input port are for features which will receive new attributes or geometry, while the supplier port provides the attributes or geometry to be merged onto the requester. In order to perform your join between the two ports, you will need to select the common attribute between the requester and the supplier ports. This transformer allows you to join many requesters to one supplier as seen in the image here, but will not allow for one requester to many suppliers by default when the process duplicate supplier option is disabled, also known as a one-to-many join. However, if you want to perform a one-to-many join with this transformer, it is possible but requires an additional transformer. First, you'll need to enable the radio button for process duplicate suppliers in the feature merger transformer and then enable the generate list option parameter for the join attribute. You can then use the list exploder transformer to see each list item in the table. So the second method of joining your data when it has already been loaded into FME is using the feature joiner transformer. This is a relatively new transformer released in FME 2018. It is similar to the feature merger transformer, but also has a more simplistic process as well as better performance. The feature joiner transformer allows you to perform joins like a SQL join without requiring knowledge of SQL query construction. There is a left and right input port for where the two streams of features to be joined are routed through the transformer. So this transformer actually has three different join modes. An inner join will only join when features have matching left and right pairs. A left join will return features that have a matching left and right pairs as well as the other unmatched left features. And a full join will give you the features that have a matching left and right pairs and all unmatched left and right pair features. It's important to note that the join type is determined by the nature of the data and not a parameter. So you can end up with a one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-one, and many-to-many -many join depending on your data. If you want a more in-depth walkthrough on this transformer and all the different joins you can do, check out my in-depth feature transformer video. Now, both transformers seem to be able to join data based on common attributes, so which one should you choose? Well, Safe Software recommends you use the feature joiner transformer if you are using FME version 2018 or above. The performance of the feature joiner transformer is much better compared to the feature merger transformer and has more robust joining capabilities. I would say it is really a successor to the feature merger transformer. If you're joining data with a few hundred records, the performance boost won't be too much of a difference, but if you're trying to join millions of records, then you're really going to see a difference here. So the third transformer you can use to join your data based on a common attribute is using the inline querier transformer. The inline querier utilizes the power of SQL. It can be used to build data linkages more directly by making use of a temporary database consisting of tables created from incoming features and returning the results generated from SQL statements as new features. Now, when should you use the inline query transformer over the other two transformers mentioned here? Well, if you're looking for more robust SQL functionality in your join, then you should be selecting this transformer. In this case, I want to join my data based on a common attribute but also filter out my unwanted records at the same time. So in my example here, if I add where room equals gymnasium for my incoming two tables in my SQL statement here, I was able to not only join my data based on the common attribute, but also filter unwanted records out being returned by the join in one transformer. So I hope this video was useful for helping you to select the right transformer to join your data in FME Workbench. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one. See you next time.